this week to take care of yourself. I mean, I just feel like it's intense all around, right? I shared, I have just been doing all the extra, like getting outside, drinking the green smoothies, <laughs> doing all the things that's so necessary, right? Okay, beautiful. So today I want to talk to you about what to do if you're scared to ask your potential clients for money, right? I just feel like this has been coming up in several conversations. And so again, this is just going to be a short five, 10 minute Facebook live, but I want you to, <laughs> because it's a shorter Facebook live, I want you to take the rest of the time that you'd normally be hanging out with me on live. And I want you to actually take some action. And I want you to journal through this prompt I'm going to give you. Okay. So, Hey, Hey. And by the way, if you guys registered for the challenge next week and you didn't get a confirmation email, we've been having a few little tech hiccups. <laughs> so if you registered for the sell with your cell challenge, that starts on Monday, you still have three days left to register and you got a confirmation email, it means you're in. If you didn't get a confirmation email, email me, message me, or you can email support at anafranson.com and we'll get it all set up, okay? But make sure that you um, got that confirmation email. That's so important, but I'm so excited to hang out with you guys next week, every day at noon PST, and we're gonna jam out. If you didn't join the challenge yet, I'll drop the link for that, but to get ready for that, we're answering the question, what do I do if I'm scared to ask my potential clients for money, right? I feel super confident about, you know, helping people, serving people, giving free value, but then when it comes to asking for money, I feel really icky and off. Um, and so I have really two questions I want you to answer for me today. Hey, hey, thank you for joining me. And if you're joining me live, please say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Sending love to all the corners, especially the United States, right? It's just an intense week for us right now. So. Usually when you ask that question, I'm scared to ask my pre-clients for money, right? We're thinking about us and we're forgetting to think about our potential clients. And so what I want you to do is I want you to, you know, we, we, when we ask that question, we're acknowledging we're taking something from our clients, right? We're taking our, we're taking money from our clients, right? And maybe let's stop calling it taking and let's just start calling it we're receiving money, right? We're receiving money from our clients. And if you're anything like me as a heart-centered woman, receiving in general can be a challenge, whether it's receiving money from a client or receiving support from a friend, right? I remember when I had my kids and like my friends would bring over meals and come help clean my house. Like part of me loved that. And part of me was also like, ah, shouldn't I be able to do this on my own? I think especially, you know, if you live in a more like independent culture that isn't as communal, it's not as natural to like give and receive. Um, anyway, so Yes, you're receiving money from your clients, right? But what I want you to ask yourself today is what are, you know, yes, your clients are giving you money, <laughs> but also you are giving something in exchange back to your clients. You're not just taking money, you're giving them a service or a product, right? And so what I want you to do, instead of saying, oh, I'm scared to ask my pre-clients for money, I want you to ask yourself this question. This is a fill in the blank. I actually want you to fill this in the, fill in the blank on this one, okay? I am asking my clients to say yes to what? What are you asking your potential clients to say yes to when they think about working with you, right? It isn't just about saying yes to you, right? They're saying yes to probably a big transformation, right? If you're a health coach, they're probably saying yes to committing to consistent working out, eating healthier, losing weight, right? All those things. So it's remembering what are you giving your clients the opportunity to say yes to when they work with you, right? They're not just giving you money, but you're giving them the opportunity to say yes to whatever it is. For example, I always use the last program I sold because you guys were a part of that, right? But when I was selling Visible Impact, my visibility program, I was giving women the, the opportunity to say yes to actually getting visible in their business, right? My other program, Sell With Heart, I'm giving women the opportunity to say yes to owning, I'm gonna sell, right? So I want you to think about that from the frame of your business. What are you giving people the opportunity to say yes to, right? What transformation? And I really want you to own that, right? If you do relationship coaching, you're giving them the opportunity to say yes to really believing that it's possible for them to find a partner that's a dream fit, right? 
And I think we can't underestimate that. And I think the more that we focus on that, and I know that this can be hard when you're not fully booked, or maybe you haven't worked with a ton of clients yet. And so maybe in your mind, it's like, well, how can I guarantee certain results or outcomes, right? And that's where it's so helpful for me when I think about it, is not guaranteeing or promising outcomes, but saying, hey, based on where you're at when you're coming to work with me, this is what's possible for you, right? So that might be a really useful language for you to borrow too, really saying what's possible. Um, okay, so that's journal question number one. I'm asking my clients to say yes to blank. What are you asking your, your potential clients to say yes to? If you don't know the answer to that, then we need to figure that out, right? And feel free to, to, if you are stuck around this, let me know and I'm happy to brainstorm with you. But that's so important that you know that, right? That you know, I'm not only asking my potential clients to say yes to me, I'm asking them to say yes to what transformation, right? That's really what they're saying yes to. And I think when we realize that, we have a lot more empathy for our clients and the sales process goes a lot smoother because we can realize like for me, right? My next program I'm selling is Sell With Heart, right? As I'm selling them on that, I have a lot of empathy because I realize they're do they're committing to doing something scary to sell, right? For your clients, if it's weight loss, right? They're saying yes to being committed to the process of overcoming, you know, the patterns that are holding them back to actually lose weight. Like that's scary. <laughs> so I think if you're on a call with someone and you're able to say like, I get that it's scary to go all in on health coaching, right? Maybe you've tried to lose weight before and it hasn't worked. And I get that it's scary to go all in again, but I want to support you in that, right? So do you see how that takes a little bit of a different frame, right? Hi, hi, sweet Jen, how are you doing? Instead of it being like us against them, I think where we go wrong is when we feel like sales becomes like us against them, right? Um, instead of remembering <laughs> you're here to help them, right? Like you're really there to be of service to them, even in the sales process. Okay, so that's the first fill in the blank. I'm asking my clients to say yes to and I just want you to brain dump, literally, right? Come up with, and don't overthink it. Just start writing it down. Uh, maybe come up with five to 10 things. Just brain dump, brain dump, and really realize that that is what your potential clients are up against when they're making that sales decision. And for me, my biggest intention in my sales process is to support people in making the 100% best decision, even if it's saying no to my program, right? And so if, you, if that's true for you and you really believe that, the goal of sales is to help them them make the best decision that's possible for them. And I have done sales calls or clarity calls before where I have listened to where someone's at and, you know, I've told them, you know, based on where you're at in your business, I actually don't suggest this program. I suggest something else for you and here's the resources for that or here's the person you should work with, right? Especially if we're truly listening in our sales process. <laughs> Start putting the table. If we're truly listening, we're able to do that, right? But remembering, okay, so that's problem number one. I'm at, hi, hi, Stephanie. Happy Thursday. I'm asking my clients to say yes to blank, right? Start brainstorming that, especially if you're joining me in the free challenge next week. It's going to be really helpful if you're thinking about these things first. Okay, second question is, when my client says yes to these things, <laughs> my client might be nervous about blank. What might your client be nervous about when they're saying yes to that, right? So again, using my example of my visibility program, when my client says yes to getting visible online, there's a lot of things they're nervous about, right? Sure, maybe part of that is the investment and paying money for the program, but there's a whole nother chapter of now I actually have to get visible. And what if I get visible and people say rude things to me? What if I get visible and it doesn't work, right? What if I get visible and then I stop getting visible? Same thing with selling, right? When people say yes to selling, or a program that helps them sell, right? They have fears around, can I sell in a way that is filled with integrity, right? What if I sell and, what if Anna helps me sell out my programs and then I have all these clients and they're not happy or I'm not able to serve them well? Do you see how there's those layers, right? So I want you to be asking more questions like that and less of, you know, I feel bad about asking my potential clients for money, right? So I want you to start thinking about that. I have to go in just a second. But if you end up journaling about this, I want to hear, even like as you're listening to the replay or if you're joining me live, like just write what comes up for you and just start to do stream of consciousness and don't overthink it. Okay, I'm gonna say it one more time. I'm asking my clients, when they say yes to my program, right? I'm asking them to say yes to blank and my potential clients might be nervous about blank, 
right? So next week I'm doing a free challenge, right? So I'm selling you guys on joining a free challenge, right? And so let me use an example like this. Okay, so when you join the free sell with yourself challenge, right? I'm asking you to say yes to taking some sales actions in your business, right? And I know that that's scary. And I know you might be nervous about doing it in a way that's in integrity or that's filled with heart, right? And so knowing that really helps me, I think, be more um, in alignment as I'm showing up. And you guys, I swear, it's kind of like what makes your visibility more magnetic. Okay, I'm gonna head out, but I would love to hear, thank you, Jen and Stephanie, for hanging out with me. Thank you, sweet Instagram peeps. Um, so answer these two questions. I'm asking my clients to say yes to blank, and my potential client might be nervous about blank. Get really clear on that, and then as we sell next week in the challenge, you're gonna feel so much more fearless when you do that, right? Yeah. Again, I'm so excited for the challenge next week. If you signed up and you didn't get the welcome email, I've been having tech glitches, so my apologies, but we're gonna figure it out. So if you didn't get the confirmation email that said you're registered for the challenge, go ahead and message me or you can email support at AnnaFranzen.com and we will make sure that you are all signed up, but it's gonna be Facebook Lives all next week. Um, Monday through Thursday, I'm going to be going live at noon PST to do Q&A and to support you. <laughs> I love that winky face, Stephanie. Um, and then also there's going to be a daily video. So you're going to get it, be getting a daily video and you're going to be taking some daily action with me next week. Because you know I'm all about teaching, but I want you to actually be taking some sales action too. So whether you um, have clients in your business, but you're looking to ramp up your marketing, um, I would love to support you around that. And I'm so excited to hang out with you guys. Again, you can register at AnnaFranson.com slash sell with your cell, or you can message me and I can send you the link too. Um, but just sending you guys so much love. And again, remember, it's so much more than asking your people for money. It really is asking them to say yes to them and their transformation. Okay, if you have any, yay, Stephanie, I'm so excited that you'll be there. I'm really excited. I love, especially like, this week, right, has just been so intense. And so I feel like I love a challenge. For me, challenges are just like kind of like a mini party where we get to hang out and like be sisters at a slumber party and just like talk real about sales, right, about what's holding us back, especially when it comes to optimizing your phone. And so the way that I designed this challenge is not just about sales, but really optimizing your cell phone. Um, and I feel like especially during like the whole corona thing it's been more important than necessary more important than ever to have like good phone habits so that you can have energy to sell right you have energy to be visible um and there'll be plenty of chances too for you to promote your own business and your own services in the challenge because you know me i don't just want you to learn about sales okay maybe should i not tell you this i think i will <laughs> i don't just want you to learn about sales but i'm actually going to be having you selling during the challenge. Don't be scared off. I'm going to support you. I'm going to be holding your hand the whole time. I'm going to give you step by steps, but actually next week, you're actually going to be doing sales actions. So if you have space open for one-on-one -on -one clients, if you have space open for group clients, if you have space in your calendar to take on a client, like I would love for you to fill it next week. <laughs> don't be like, ah, do I? Like, don't overthink it, right? Just come with that expectation and trust, right? Follow the simple steps and be open to not just learning. In order to do that, I need you to watch the videos, but I need you to be open to taking action and doing what I say in the videos, okay? And I know this is a free challenge, and so I know there's a little bit less commitment. The beauty about a paid program is like once you've paid money, you're a little bit more committed to actually doing it, but can I challenge you for a minute? Can I challenge you? Can you pretend for a minute that you paid for the program I'm going to give you next week? Can you just pretend somehow, however you want to do it? Um, because I really feel like, or maybe you want to literally um, noon PST for every day next week. You want to block off your calendar, like block out those times, right? But I'm not, I mean, I think there, I, I, for the most part, I do think that people do get a bigger result when they pay you because there is that investment, right? And they're, they're saying, I'm ready for that shift. That's why often I see with my clients, even before they start my programs, they'll start getting some results because they're like all in on whatever I sold them on, right? They're all in on getting visible. They're like, yeah, I'm going to get visible. So they're already starting to see that, right? Or I'm all in on selling. So then they actually start selling, right? So I believe that transformation does come when you invest money. However, 
Here's what I also have to say that may not be as popular in the online space. I also believe you can get a massive outcome for free stuff when you show up for it, right? But if you're going to get massive results from the challenge next week, hi, hi, Elisa, I'm ready. I love that you're ready for it. If you're ready for it, just let me know in the comments below. Um, and what you can also do, <laughs> 70 says I can do hard things. You can, right? I want you to commit. Bonus points if you bring a friend. And so maybe you have a biz bestie and you guys want to do it together. You guys want to challenge each other to do it because how you're going to get results next week with a free challenge slash mini course is by committing to do it, showing up for the lives, doing the, ch the actions. The actions are pretty simple. They don't take a lot of time, right? So what does that mean? It's a lot of like mindset stuff that holds us back from actually doing the action, okay? So grab a biz bestie, say, will you commit to doing this four day challenge with me? And I know it's brave because you don't know what I'm gonna ask you to do in the challenge, <laughs> but can you trust me? And can you commit to doing all four days of the work? If you do, I promise you, you will see traction in your business, you will see results, and you will likely see some sales traction too, because that's exactly what we're focused on. If you guys haven't been following me for a while, I believe in visibility too, right? I believe in giving value online. However, that's not what this challenge is going to be about, okay? I am assuming that you already in some capacity have been giving value online. You show up with value-based content and it's time to make a return and start selling, right? So that's really who this challenge is for. And I really feel like in many ways, it's never too early to start selling in your business as long as you're doing value along the way too. Okay, again, Show up, show up fully, block off your calendar. Let's do this. Again, if you didn't get the registration email, hi, hi, sweet Kelly, I'll let my biz besties know. Yes, that's the best way I know to get major results from free stuff is by looping friends in on it, right? And doing things along together. And so I think that that's powerful and telling yourself, hey, no matter what, I'm gonna do all four days of action, even if I'm like, ah, do I have to do this thing? And I don't ask you to do anything that's like out of integrity, right? <laughs> so don't be afraid of that. They're like, yes, I don't ask us to do. Um, we did this challenge, by the way, a year ago. Um, I did update it a little bit, but I don't repeat my free challenges very much. And so while we're here, while you're, I mean, while I'm doing it, like go all in on it, right? Literally the last time I ran the Sell With Your Cell challenge was last October, I think, right? <laughs> Stephanie says I commit with a pukey face. I mean, that's what it's about, right? Is I commit, I'm feeling pukey. Also, biz besties, like, are you in this with me, right? I swear it makes it so much easier, right? Because we're all in it together. Hi, hi. Okay, Marsha says, oh yeah, you're tagging your biz besties. Yes, exactly. Get all in on it together. And if you don't have a, I was thinking about doing a accountability biz thread again. Should I do that? I was thinking about doing a biz buddy thread. But I feel like um, I am a believer that you can get massive results from free stuff when you go all in on it. And again, the best way to go all in on it is having your bestie hold you accountable, right? So that when I ask you to, again, you're going to be learning about selling next week. You're also going to be actually selling next week. <laughs> That's how you're going to get results, right? And I hear, I remember at the start of my business, I was like, I want to make money, but also can I not sell? And I just wish I wouldn't have asked that question. I wish I would have instead asked, how can I make selling feel good? How can I make selling feel an integrity, right? Selling isn't the, the criminal here. Like selling isn't the bad guy, right? The bad guy was the person that was doing the selling that was out of integrity, right? Selling itself is neutral, right? Okay, I could go a whole nother tangent on that, but I have got to go. Thank you. I love this, <laughs> Stephanie. Thank you for going all in. And again, if you guys didn't get the confirmation email for the challenge, email support at AnnaFriends.com. We'll make sure you get that confirmation email and you're in. And I cannot wait to hang out with you ladies. Bring your biz besties. Let's do this. Let's sell with heart. And honestly, this is like the perfect time. I feel like mid-November, I feel like it's not a bad time to um, sell during the holidays. I'm all for that. But for me, I enjoy taking a little more space during the holidays. And so if that's you too, now is the perfect time to get brave, do some major selling slash selling out so that you can have space and margin. Okay, I'll see you guys next week in the challenge. Um, I'll drop the link. And if you guys have any questions around those two journal prompts that I gave you, I'm asking my clients to say yes to blank. My client may be nervous about blank. Feel free in the comments to drop um, 
your answers or if you have any questions for me about that. And if you're stuck on that, let me know your industry or your offer. And I'm happy to brainstorm for you too. This is my favorite stuff. Okay. Take care of yourself. You guys do all the self-care this week. You know if you follow me on Instagram, Fridays we do a wrap-up, right? And every Friday we ask ourselves, what are we celebrating? Texting someone with gratitude, right? Um, Doing one self-care action. And so make sure more than ever, like this is, if you don't usually do that weekend wrap-up with me, like this is a great week to do it, okay? Because selling is beautiful and of service, but it also takes energy, right? When we're selling, we don't want to show up from like a lower desperate place, right? We don't want to show up. We want to show up with something to give. We want to be of value. We want to be lit up. We want to be an encouragement, right? And so the best way I know how to do that is filling myself up, fueling myself up. So don't skimp on the self-care this weekend. Splurge on whatever you need to splurge on, right? Take an extra long bath and just tell your partner like Anna told me, right? Anna told me like I get to spend like two hours in the bathtub this weekend. I've got to self-care it up before I sell, right? (laughs) I've got to get that extra handbag. I mean, whatever it is for you, right? I've got to spend a little bit extra on my healthy smoothies. Okay, my loves, have a, (laughs) no, I'm just hanging out with you guys. Okay, I can't wait to see you next week. And I think that's it. Okay. Love you, ladies. Happy Thursday.